Here the vector a and the vector b are given in terms of their i, j and k components and we're asked to determine the cross product of vector a with vector b. This is done by setting up a 3x3 three three matrix and finding its determinant. The first row in the matrix is i, j, k. The second row in the matrix is the coefficients of the first vector in the cross product. So that's the vector a, its coefficients are a1, a2 and a3. And the third row in the matrix is the coefficients of the second vector in the cross product, so that's the vector b. Its coefficients are b1, b2 and b3. The cross product is then found as follows. a crossed with b is equal to, we take our first entry in the first row, which is i. We multiply it by the determinant of the following matrix. Now to figure out this matrix, you ignore the row that i is in, and you ignore the column that i is in, and you're left with this matrix here. So that's the matrix there. Then we say minus j times the determinant of the following matrix. So again, we ignore the row that j is in, and we ignore the column that j is in. We're left with the, these entries a1, a3, b1, b3, which is this matrix here. And you say plus k times the determinant of this matrix. So when we have k, we ignore the row that k is in, and the column that k is in, and we're left with this matrix here. a1, a2, b1, and b2. Now to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, so if you have the matrix a, b, c, and d, and you want its determinant, it's equal to a times d minus b times c. So here we have i times the determinant of this matrix. So its determinant is going to be a2 by b3 minus a3 by b2 just following this formula here. And then you have minus the determinant of this matrix. So again, it's a1, b3, minus a2, b1, times j, and plus the determinant of this matrix, times k. So that is the formula for the cross product. But setting up the matrix means you don't have to learn this off. Here we have an example, so the vector a is given like this, and the vector b is as this. Find the cross product a and b. So this should help to make things a bit clearer. So we set up our matrix i, j, and k. The second row is going to be the coefficients of the first vector, which is a. So 5, 3, minus 2 and then 6, minus 4, 1. So the cross product of vector a with vector b is equal to i times the determinant of, so we ignore the row that i is in and the column that i is in, so we're left with this matrix here, 3, minus 2, minus 4, 1, minus j times the determinant of this matrix, so we ignore the row that j is in, and the column that j is in, so we're left with 5 minus 2, 6, 1. 5 minus 2, 6, 1. Plus k times the determinant of, so we ignore the row that k is in, and the column that k is in, and we're left with this matrix here. 5, 3, 6 minus 4. So that is equal to i times... 3 by 1 minus minus 2 times minus 4 minus j times the determinant here 5 by 1 minus minus 2 times 6 plus k the determinant here is 5 by minus 4 minus 3 by 6 this is equal to 3 minus 8, and we leave the i at the end, minus 5 plus 12 times j plus minus 20 minus 18 times k, which is equal to minus 5i minus 17j minus 38k. So this is the cross product of vector A with vector B.